Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with a major backstage update as it concerns Triple H actually changing Vince McMahon's mind on something. And that something was Cesaro. He's a big something. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we all know we've heard reports about how Vince McMahon and Triple H sometimes have a varying of, of different ideas. Sometimes they butt heads. Sometimes they don't see eye to eye. Sometimes they're on the same page. But, you know, they, they, they always, you know, they have that togetherness because Triple H is into the family. He's married into the company. He loves the business. He, he lives, breathes, sleeps, and bleeds the WWE. And like I said, you know, Vince McMahon and Triple H do have a unique relationship. And like I said, while they may not always see eye to eye, they have respect for one another. Um, and when cooler heads prevail, Triple H and Vince McMahon always try to come out with what's best for business, even though some may say Vince McMahon is out of touch with today's WWE, and that's where Triple H can fit the mold. But here we go. According to DWN, the original plan for Cesaro to have no theme song was going to last a few weeks longer, as it was a Vince McMahon idea. But Triple H talked Vince out of it, and he talked Vince into changing his mind. It was said that Triple H hated the idea of Cesaro coming out to no theme song. Now, I'll tell you what, it takes a hell of a person to be able to, to have that kind of courage, that kind of commitment, that kind of power to change Vince McMahon's mind. It's, there's not too many people. It's few and far between the kind of people that can change Vince McMahon's mind once he is set on something. When Vince McMahon has a plan in motion, he wants to say whether he hates to change things. He hates to have uh, on-the-fly booking. But when it does happen, I can guarantee him to you, it does not sit well with Vince McMahon. So this is where Triple H and Vince McMahon, you know, they may not always see eye-to-eye, -eye, but they have a mutual respect. They have this understanding. And like, like I said, Triple H is into the family. You know, there, there's, there, there's that bond there. And uh, on a related note, the idea to align Cesaro with Heyman was something they came up with on their own and pitched to Vince. Vince loved the idea, so they went with it. And like I said, this is a tremendous opportunity for Cesaro to be with Paul Heyman. A world of opportunity awaits. It opens doors to a whole new world for Cesaro. And like I said, I mean, you know, Cesaro's theme song, here's the thing about it. I'm not really liking Cesaro's theme song. I don't know. There's a certain aura. There's a certain vibe. There's something I'm not catching. It, it doesn't seem like it fits Cesaro. I mean, maybe I have to listen to it a couple of more times. But I don't know. I kind of almost like Cesaro coming out to no theme music because it set him apart from everybody else. It made him different. It made him unique. But, hey, what are you going to do? I'm not going to cry over spilt milk over a theme song. Your comments and your opinions. And what do you think about Triple H changing Vince McMahon's mind? Is this a sign of things to come? Can Triple H do this a lot more? And if he can, will the WWE be a lot better for it?